this is a question regarding Evangelion. I'm not sure if you were a fan before you did the Rebirth uh, of the Dead. I, I absolutely loved Evangelion. It's like, it's such a big part of why I'm an anime fan, which is weird because it wasn't the first show I ever saw, but it was what was, when I, when I said I would never watch anime again, somebody sat me down and made me watch the show. My friend Grant Cannon made me watch the show. And I was like, what the F? It was such a crazy, like, and the funny thing is, we were watching it dubbed, which I never watched anything dubbed at the time, but he only had the VHS dubbed, so, you know, this is back in videotape days. What's so. a VHS? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know that. It's great. Um, but I know that uh, during the production of that, they kept Andy Rebirth and Reed Dead, they kept Spuggy Spencer, uh, Tiffany Grant, and a lot of the older actors, but the Italian didn't play Kaji, and subsequently uh, Kaoru sort of wandered off somewhere, and you ended up playing Kaoru. Um, well, there's always been a different Kaoru. That's the, the coolest thing about the legacy of which is funny because I got real butt hurt behind being recast in the movies. Uh, but it's not as bad as Monica. Monica went from playing Maya and Buki to playing Pen Pen. So at least I still play a human uh, in Evan Bailey. And uh, I'm not a penguin. But uh, uh, first it was Kyle Sturdivant. And uh, the weird thing is I'm the only common thread amongst all powers, which is cool. Kyle Sturdivant I did theater with in the Houston community for a long time. Aaron Crone, who did it in the Death and Rebirth movies, mother was my first dance teacher. And we used to take theater trips to New York when we were kids. Uh, then I did the director's cut, the platinum edition, and now Jerry Jewell is the new powder in the new Funimation movies, the 2.0 and all that. So I'm the only connection to all four powders now, but I think it's neat, kind of, that it's always a different powder. If you think about what that role is and what part he plays in that show, I think it's kind of neat that it has been multiple people uh, and yet always had a certain serene quality that's followed through in all, all four of us, so, yeah. I agree, I was actually yeah. going to ask in reference to um, uh, taking over the role of Kensuke, which is extremely uh, small, but really yeah. impactful as being the obsessive nerd of the franchise. Yeah, yeah. Um, so how do you feel about being sort of the voice of people who say that Shinji should just get in a robot? Yeah. That's a great way to put it. That's a great way to look at Kensuke, too. Uh, you know, I couldn't enjoy doing Kensuke because I was so mad about being recast. <laughs> So yeah, Ava plays right into that. 